Okay, well, we're here at the archaeological uh, excavation at Ipple Pen in South Devon. Um, the site was actually found by responsible metal detectorists who reported their finds to the authorities. Um, the University of Exeter was then invited to come and carry out an excavation. The first thing we did was carry out what's called a geophysical survey and we used a technique that measures very subtle variations in the Earth's magnetic field that revealed that beneath the surface there was a series of ditches cut into the bedrock and we were able to detect them through our survey, locate the trench in this particular location and what we found is it's absolutely stuffed full of ditches and gullies that relate to a Roman and probably a pre-Roman uh, farmstead. Hello there, my name's um, David Wills. I'm here in two capacities really. One as the president of the Talking Museum Society and two as a, a leader for the young archaeologists who, uh, as we speak, are involved in the dig here. So guys, why are you here today in Ipple Pen? Um, because we're doing an archaeology day. Oh, right. what, what do you like about archaeology? Yeah, that you find things from the Romans and you find out about what people used to do in the olden days. So take us to what we're doing here now. You're in a trench, aren't you? Yeah. But what are you actually doing in the trench? Um, we're cleaning the soil to make it easier okay. and we're just scraping off the top layer. Okay. And what, what do you do? You find something. Then you um, put it in the tray and then the people clean it. So we're here with uh, my Uncle Jim, who likes to be called Philip Wills, technically. Not Uncle Jim Wills. Well, legally. Yeah. <laughs> and he is the discoverer of uh, this site through metal detecting. And he discovered that with his friend, late friend now. De De Dennis, yeah. Dennis. De Dennis. So the two of them were in these very fields and they discovered um, concentrations of Roman coins, particularly on the perimeter. And after finding lots of them, that was brought to the attention of the uh, archaeologists at Exeter University in particular. And um, that's basically how Talking Museum Society has got involved and Talking Museum in that Uncle Jim is a, a member of the society and has been since the 1970s. So. Uncle Jim, I don't know whether you'd like to say a bit about how you actually discovered the site. Well, I was going to say, out of 13 areas in, in this, uh, fields in this area, this, we are actually in the very first field that the coin was found. This is the very first coin was found in this field. Regarding the site, which is more important, mm. of course, there, there were um, two different landowners. They kindly gave us permission just to wander anywhere within the site. Uh, but they were mainly, the, 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 it was mainly pasture land, which is uh, normally we don't dig on pasture land. We like to dig on arable fields. Mm. But uh, strangely enough, you know, the coins were just shallow enough for, for us to find. And uh, that's how it all started. What we're doing here is um, excavating the intersection between two different features on the site, uh, where Peter here, who's one of our local uh, volunteers, what he's been digging is part of a gully that curves round in this corner of the trench, and we think is probably a gully which will have gone around the outside of a circular house that we would call a, a round house. And uh, that seems to be cut by a ditch that runs through Ooh, here, um, which might have marked sort of a property boundary uh, within the settlement. So why are you here today? Uh, well, my job here is uh, to help lots of different members of the community come and experience what it's like to work as an archaeologist. So today we're really lucky because we've got lots of uh, young people here from both Torquay and from Somerset and they've come to visit the site, find out what we're doing and get a real taster of um, both excavation, uh, finds recording and some of the kind of really important parts but slightly more tedious elements like the planning and all that sort of thing that they have to do. So why are you here at Ipapen today? 
Uh, so I'm one of the advanced um, students here. So this is my second field school with the University of Exeter. I just finished my second year there, going into my third, and I wanted to do a British dig, um, as my previous one was American. What's the best thing you've done so far then, Ipplepen? Oh, getting involved with the mattock, just getting through those layers quickly, it's really, really satisfying. And what do you think about the, the community aspect, so bringing on board people like the young archaeologists and different um, groups, local groups, societies in the area, do you, do you find that an interesting aspect to this dig? Completely, archaeology wouldn't be what it is without public engagement, it just is something that captures the public imagination and we're playing a part in that. Um, the more the merrier, the more people here the more progress we make. We're averaging about 10 to 15 volunteers with us a week. It's honestly amazing. So uh, now we're back at Torquay Museum and this is where the uh, coins have been archived. There's been a display on the pen finds in Torquay Museum but now we're back in here and uh, as you can see we've got most of the finds here in front of us so if we take up the, uh, the packets we can see for example this one was found by Dennis Hewins and it's got all the date information on there. This is the coin here, tiny, very valuable coin um, archaeologically you can see they, they, they vary in size this one here is um, Philip Wills who we, who we saw earlier before these coins were unearthed it was believed Roman Britain stopped at Exeter if you look at the now revised map of the Roman Empire it's coming down a lot further into the West Country perhaps even as far as Plymouth and maybe Cornwall as we know the Romans used tin in their kit and equipment and prized Cornish tin in particular because of its quality and that's all down to these coins that were found at Ipplepen.